Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our MathPup hook place value game. Uh, if you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play as well as teaching tools and fun games, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and all the games are free to play. Okay, uh, when we first start this game, I'd like to say that we this is just one of the many versions that we have for Math Pup Hook. We also have a um, number comparison version. We have an even and odd number comparison uh, game. We have a prime composite game. We have a rounding version. We have a rounding to the nearest 100 version. We have a factors version, um, square root, decimal comparison, and square root decimals. So if you want to find these games, uh, they will all be on uh, the first page. You look under the MathPup hook game series, and you'll see all the uh, different versions that are out there. Okay, let's take a look at the game. And when you first start the game, this is the main menu you'll see. If you click more games, it'll take you to the lofgames.com, which is another one of our sites. And there's math games and puzzle games, and there's never any membership sign-up required. And of course, the games are all free to play, also. So let's go ahead and click. If let's go ahead and click instructions. I'm not going to go over that, but what I'm going to show is this our standard clear data button. And what that will do is the data that, it, that it's talking about is the high score data. So if somebody else had been playing on the game and you want to have your own high score you just clear that you click the check mark to uh, delete that data and start over again with a high score of zero or um, you could just click the x and not change it but that you do that when you want to possibly uh, uh, you've got your own high score and you want to come back and reset it so that's that's what you would do use that button for I'm not going to go over the instruction because we're going to play it in just a second but before I start um, I will say it's easy to play uh, it may not be easy to beat each level because the uh, math pup does get going in this game. But one thing I wanted to say, if you can see the cursor here, right here is math pup's little hands, and that's where he will grab. Um, that's where as he's swinging and he hits a number ball, this is the part that, where uh, a collision takes place. If he hits a number ball with his feet, he's not going to pick it up. Okay, let's click play, and, and I'm going to... Uh, it goes pretty quick initially and there's no pause but what I will say is there's going to be a place value statement at top and um, so I'll try to find there's there'll be two number balls that will show up after a couple of seconds and I'll try to get the one that answers that statement the place value statement okay let's go ahead and click play and there's the math pop and it tells you that the number balls always show up here in the top half and if you see, if I click it, it swings and he swings. Anytime I touch or swing or click, he's going to go to the hook here. He'll hook on to the one that has a circle around it, dash circle. So the question now says, and I'm holding down the uh, mouse button, get number with three in the hundreds place. So I see... 139 and a number ball of 332 and the number ball with 332 is the one I want to get so I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can there we go hit it and there we go it says great 332 does have three in the hundreds place which is what the statement was looking for so now I've got a score of 20 and you notice I didn't clear my best my best or high score earlier so the uh, best score is 30 I'll try to see if I can beat that and uh, it says get number with five in the tens place and uh, I'm going to let this stay over here and figure out which one it is. So there's 759 and 546. 759 is the one in the tens place, so that's the one I want to hit. They're kind of close together. Uh, I might be able to, I think I can probably drop, drop them down right, map up right on it. I'm going to drop it, and I hit it. So great, 759, 759 does have five in the tens place. So now it's high score 30. I'm going to try to get a, okay, get number with one in the ones place and there's one one four and nine two one so nine two one is the number one hit it's far away from the other bubble so it shouldn't be too hard whoa well i say that i say okay and i'm gonna have to kind of wait but you can see how it plays and it bounces off and i'm kind of releasing it and swinging into it and that ought to get it right there okay so great nine two one does have one in the ones place continue and you notice 
when I continue, best high score is 40. Now, uh, and that's the current game I'm playing, so it did change. So it says get number with three in the ones play, in the hundreds place, I'm sorry. So if I get, let me see, I'll try to get the wrong answer. I'll show you what shows up there. And there, oh, okay, I did, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got the correct answer. It would get the number with three in the hundreds place, and 301 does have the number three in the hundreds place, while 283 does not. I'm going to show you what, try to show you what happens when wrong answer. There we go, uh, I got that one real quick. And that sometimes happens if you let math pups stay up in the top when it first starts you need to let uh if you can math pup needs to stay down here because that way you won't accidentally run into a number ball in this case i ran in the right one so that's good but it, it won't always be that way okay get number one with one in the hundreds place so i want to get 188 is the correct answer i'm going to get 781 so you can see what happens when i get the incorrect number and i've got to kind of stay away from both of them oop i got the correct one and nine in the tens place and i'm going to skip over and get the wrong one if i can there we go and it says oops 951 951 doesn't have nine in the tens place the nine is in the hundreds place so that's what it looks like when you get a wrong answer and uh this when i continue now the score will be set back over to zero because i've pretty much lost this run of correct answers the uh, button up here is to turn the sound on and off you can toggle it on and toggle it off same thing with the music i have it off now toggle it on toggle it off um and of course here's a score and the best score and this menu button but let's go ahead and get continue. You know, score back goes back over down to zero. So that's how you play this game. Um, it, it's it's fairly simple to play. Um, I hope the video helps some. I hope you have fun playing. And thanks for watching.